you're not going to believe how strong this bond is. So we want to put wood together and we want it strong. How strong? What's an acceptable bond? You can see the adhesive there. It's squirted out a little. Satisfactory bonds are going to have mating geometry that is simple. Surface preparation, minimal, or in this case, none at all. We need the bond strength to be as strong as the material itself, at least in the minimal strength direction, so like the splitting direction. And then we need the adhesive strength, that is the, the material itself, to have a strength also equal to that material that we're bonding. And then we need the mating process to be repeatable. This is not going to require skills. This is not going to require any steps that require finesse. You got it? So how do we know if this material and the bond is as strong as the wood itself? In my case, I'm going to be able to load it just as if it were one beam, okay? And we're gonna set that there and now we have a, a distance of 16 inches. So if this seam were no seam, but it was made out of wood in the splitting direction, could it support a cinder block? I think probably yes, but it's gonna be approaching the limits, okay? And then would it support more? Okay, so would it support me standing on it? That's pretty good. So what in the world is this stuff? It's urethane. There's a whole class of products like this brand that it's the substance they use to install your auto window glass and it's not so expensive, maybe $15. Now imagine what you can do if you can turn two pieces of material into one piece of material. That's what we're getting now. So we generate a way to make a good bond. We wrap that into a documented method. We put that into open lab and then it goes to the whole world, including you. For more than five years, I've been developing these methods for plastic and metal and wood and every material that you may need that will go over to the methods in Open Lab Project. So this is all easy and once it's on GitHub, it can never vanish again. I'm almost reaching a point where I have populated enough documentation that it is evident of how to repeat that documentation process and that should allow contributors to better offer their knowledge to fill in all the gaps and then we can have something that's really complete.